Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can download and use motions that have their own embedded props and accessories. This new feature makes it easier than ever to complement your animations with props and accessories already perfectly positioned so that you don't need to do manual adjustments after applying them to your character, speeding up your workflow significantly. On the Actor Core site, you'll see a number of motions that are paired with various items indicated by the small related content icon in the top left of the thumbnail. Certain motion packs are purpose-made to go along with various props, and to find them, you can click on Related Content below the preview window. You can choose to apply them to your actor's right or left hand via the option on the top left. You'll notice that they're all perfectly aligned properly in the character's hand. Props will also have the same related content icon, making it easier to navigate back and forth between motions and their associated items, and vice versa. You can click on the small info button in the thumbnail to get more details about each individual item, including a link to its containing content pack. You can add items and access your cart below the preview window or on each individual thumbnail. If you've already purchased an item, this cart will change to a download link. There are also motions that include an animated prop as well, such as with this skateboard pack. These items will have a special motion with animated prop icon on the top left. If we click Related Content here, you'll see a number of different unique prop styles that are all interchangeable. The motion we have chosen will come with a free skateboard prop and six texture options, so you can begin using it right away without needing to purchase additional skateboard meshes. One really cool thing about these prop embedded motions is that they can be used with all sorts of different characters regardless of proportions. Users can take advantage of the completely free AccuRig tool in order to give your external model a Reillusion rig. Once you've done this, you can actually load your custom model into ActorCore so you can preview it in action. This works for all different types of characters with different styles and proportions. In your inventory, you have two download options. The first is the default download option, which allows you to download individual packs or items. You can also multi-select to download multiple items at once. You can choose a default actor mesh to go along with your motions and a target application, which ensures that the materials and shaders are all prepped for that application without needing further work. When you download a motion with an animated prop, you'll receive a combination folder that consolidates the actor mesh, motion, and animated prop into a single FBX file, along with a separate one for the motion itself. If both the actor and prop have texture options, you'll find them in a separate Texture Sets folder. You can also do a combined download, which will download everything into a single FBX file. You can choose a default or uploaded actor, then a motion. And now with this new feature, if your motion has one or more linked props, you can include those as well. I'll download this all using Blender as our target application and see how easy it is to import it all into Blender for use with that production pipeline in just a moment. First, let's quickly look at how to apply your new assets in iClone. After downloading to iClone format, your content manager will update with the new assets. A motion that contains an animated prop will be in the iMotion Plus format, 
and the associated prop will automatically be added whenever you apply this motion. You can also apply the various included eye materials to give your board a different look. Same goes for our first warrior animation. The linked accessories will immediately be applied, and if you right click and drag one from the content manager, you'll get a prompt asking you which body part you'd like to apply which accessory to. Right clicking and dragging associated accessories separately will also bring up this prompt. Alright, now let's see how easy it is to import everything into Blender. Before getting started, be sure that you've installed the free Blender Auto Setup add on. Take a look at the dedicated tutorial for more on that if you're not familiar with it. Then, in the Pipeline tab, choose Import Character and select your FBX. Everything imports in perfectly, and you can choose a scene preset to improve the visuals with a single click. You can see that the animation works just as expected. The same thing goes for our warrior with his linked accessories as well. Reillusion also offers an easy way to apply rigify controls to your character so please check out our dedicated tutorials for more on that. You can add further individual motions to your character in Blender without the need to repair and combine the original model. Download the motion as normal, being sure to use the proper target application preset, and then simply select Import Animations in the Blender Auto Setup panel and choose the motion FBX you downloaded. Select the original armature and go ahead and open the Action Editor and Nonlinear Animation panels to convert the two motions into clips for sequencing. Once in their clip form, we can place them one after the other to complete our combo. You can also use Auto Blend to seamlessly connect the animations. That's about it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.